Naval Ravikant is one of the most successful entrepreneurs we know to date, having invested in the early stages of Uber, Twitter, Yammer, Clubhouse, and the like. He's also the founder of AngelList, having invested in over 200 plus startup companies. And in this book is a collection of his wisdom on guide, uh, a guide towards wealth and happiness. So as usual, I have my five key takeaways. Let's start with the first one, becoming wealthy without getting lucky. So to Naval, becoming rich and becoming wealthy is totally different. Rich, you can become rich overnight by sheer luck right time, right place, or even simply winning a lottery, right? But becoming wealthy is being able to sustain that uh, net worth over a long period of time. And for you to achieve this wealth, this freedom, it's not about simply becoming lucky, or right place, right time. Thinking about it, money, making money is not a thing you do. It's a byproduct of the skills that you develop, of the problems that you solve, and the value that you bring to the world. So in order for you to bring value to solve a problem, of course, you need to develop that skill uh, innate to you so that you can actually solve a problem. The second one is getting wealthy is about uh, knowing what to do, what problems you want to solve, who to do it with, like who are the team that you need to build in order to solve that problem, and finally, when to do it. At the same time, uh, you know you may have the great idea, great team, but if it's not in the right timing, um, it may not work out that well to you. And lastly is compound, compounded interest, right? So the longer you develop this, the higher you will get paid. So rather than be a jack of all trades, right? According to Naval, it would be to your advantage if you identify a skill that you are passionate about, that you are naturally well at, and hone that skill, practice it, and develop a deep expertise to it would put you in a greater chance to succeed in becoming wealthy without getting lucky. The second um, nugget of wisdom is earn with your mind, not your time. So what does this mean? A lot of people, uh, especially those who are trapped in the rat race, uh, always think of, uh, you know, don't, don't, don't uh, realize that time is the most valuable resource that they have. So to Naval, Whenever he makes decision, he always thinks about the trade-off in terms of time. Uh, what he did is he computed his income, yearly income, and divided it on a per hour basis, right? If there are certain tasks that are, um, you know, below, uh, that you can outsource it to a different person at a lower cost, he always chooses to outsource it. May it be washing the dishes, going to the laundry, mowing the lawn he would opt to outsource it and gain back time where he could focus his energy, his time into more um, higher value tasks, right? Like building his business, making connections. So the more you realize that, you know, time is your most valuable resource, it greatly affects the way you make daily decisions in life. May it be as simple as, you know, outsourcing the need to wash your car, do your laundry, and so on. As soon as you realize that you use your mind and safeguard your time, it will drastically change the way you make decisions in your day-to-day -day life. The third one is impatient with action, patient with the results. So, well done is better than well said. So, a lot of entrepreneurs make the mistake of analysis paralysis, wherein they have a good idea, they want to do it, but they need so much information be be before actually making, uh, taking the risk and making it or implementing it rather, right? So to Naval, after working with a lot of startups, he is a firm believer that you, you know, take action quickly, learn, iterate, and improve as you go along. People who have these kinds of mindset are able to, you know, move further along launch more successful companies uh because again it's an it's a learning process for them wherein they aren't stopped uh by an over analysis but rather they start slowly build momentum learn from it and iterate and the lastly is patient with the results so again any skill that you want to develop any company you're, you're trying to build any career that you're trying to build definitely it needs to take time so it may 
be a snowball effect we're in at the very start you don't see any results it may be demotivating but over time you would see that it would compound and uh, the results will become magnified so again be impatient with action but patient with the results uh, the fourth key takeaway is radical honesty so if you have a team colleagues uh, what he says is you know praise specifically and criticize generally so whenever you're praising a person you have good news and whatnot you make sure to specify that person and specify the specific good deed that he or she did on the flip side of it if ever he or she did a bad thing that was that was uh, really bad for the business rather than criticize and finger point to that specific person criticize it generally right rather than focus it on a person uh, redirect focus uh, to the process so that other people can learn from it and be motivated to not do the same mistake right so radical honesty the fifth one is hard easy versus hard choices so easy choices would equate into a hard life so if this picture it's easy to you know dial a mcdonald's hotline order fast food or it's it's easy to choose to spend the entire saturday playing video games again there's nothing wrong with that but constantly choosing the easy choices would equate into a harder life like for example if you always choose fast food it would have a huge impact into your overall health or always choosing video games right it would trade off your time for uh, building your business or building your career and so on and the flip side of it again is the hard choices would eventually equate into an easy life it may be hard to develop your skill right it may be hard on networking or um, working out exercising but over the long period of time consistent and deliberate choosing the hard choices would uh, make you have an easier life a healthier lifestyle better income and so on and the bonus uh, lesson for this book is happiness requires presence so only a small percent of us focus on the present a lot of us spend most uh, mostly planning for the future regretting the past uh, which keeps you in seeing the beauty in everything and grateful uh, in where you are so I like this uh, short snippet from the book basically it's about being present right sometimes we overlook what's in our we overlook being in the moment right we're in for you to enjoy the full experience you need to be present you need to immerse yourself and really focus on the present and the now rather than constantly worrying about what may happen in the future or what already happened in the past for you to really achieve true happiness it's about being in the moment uh, immersing yourself there feeling uh, you know engaging with people uh, you know 